you know, young people that come into the business don't exactly understand the, the, what they're getting themselves into when they come to Local 94. You look around Manhattan, and the best is at night when you see the skyline, and you look at all these buildings lit up. When you walk into the building, you're not going to run into a Local 94 member. He's there in the back of the house taking care of all the, the life safety, heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. We are controlling the biggest buildings in the world, and we are the center of it, making sure that they run internally 100%. The Local 94 member, the day he walks in the door as a new member, we don't tell him it's a job, we tell him it's a career. My name is Raymond Macko. I'm the Assistant Business Manager of Local 94. When I walk in the door each morning, I think about the responsibility Local 94 has to not just its 6,400 members, but to the 18,000 lives, which are the families of those members. This job is a calling, is the only way to describe it. You have to love what you do here every day. It is not an eight hour job. You get here in the morning, you pick up your calls from the, the night before, and you don't leave until all your calls are done at the end of the night. Nobody here was ever promised a 40 hour work week. Uh, that's not how we do things, and our members don't work 40-hour work weeks. Local 94's charter was established in 1937. It was set up for commercial office buildings, powerhouse, clubs, apartment houses, schools. Once it started, I don't think anybody ever thought that Local 94 would, would grow or that the commercial office building industry would grow so large. As we stand here today, being the largest local in the East Coast is, uh, is extraordinary. Whenever I go somewhere out of state, or if I go to a conference, and they find out that I'm Local 94 New York City, they're in awe of me. What we do here is keeping New York City running. We operate the equipment. We know when things are safe, when things are not. We work through pandemics, we work through hurricanes, we work through 9-11, we work through blackouts. Local 94 are truly first responders because when the fire department even comes to the building, they're looking for the local 94 member. And nobody knows the building better than a local 94 member. This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing line. The one event that really stands out in New York City to me was 9-11 and, and what local 94 did and how they performed to get those buildings up and line, back online. And so uh, if, if there's any event that I had to pick out, it'd be 9-11. It's an incredible sight, to be honest. When Hurricane Sandy hit and there was no power, there was no ways of getting there. I remember the director of engineering, uh, he was coming in and picking us up so that we would be able to get to the building. The COVID pandemic was an illustration of the longstanding ties between the real estate industry and Local 94 and how that relationship came to bear in New York's darkest days. And our reliance on the union in helping maintain these buildings got us through some very tough patches and set us up, both the industry and Local 94, for some great days ahead. I absolutely have a lot of trust and faith in Local 94. They've been a great partner all these years and I have great relationships with the union and I, we, I cannot conceive of doing business in this city without Local 94. I'm very excited to be uh, associated with Local 94. Their leadership uh, really has stepped up to the plate over and over again. Um, their membership um, is really second to none in terms of their work ethic and the pride that they take in their work. The Local 94 member does not have any limitations whatsoever when they get into this trade. My name is Joe Zabo from Paramount Realty Group. I run property management operations. We have uh, over 14 million square feet across the nation that we uh, call Class A. And it's very important to make sure the tenants are perfect, so we have to do our job. Uh, many of our members have walked into the door as helpers, and we've had people that have excelled so far up where they're actually owners in buildings downtown. I began as a Local 94 apprentice in 1983. Apprentice at 445 Park Avenue, and then I got my refrigeration license, uh, Tishman Spire for a long part of my career, and I grew, and then uh, I went management on the engineering side in 96. See you guys. I became a managing director in 2010. I became the head of global operations for Tishman Spire in 2015, and came back into Manhattan with Paramount Group 
to run uh, national property management. I have a chief engineer shirt that when I left 1301 6th Avenue in 96, my goodbye party, they framed my chief engineer shirt when I became a suit, uh, is what they say. They framed my shirt and I hung it in my uh, garage. One of the things I ended up putting on the, the frame was a little sticker on the bottom, uh, in case of emergency, break the glass. I start off like I did in 2004 as a helper, work my way to my ultimate goal, which is to be a leader and to be assistant chief. To an assistant chief, to a chief engineer, to a director of engineering, to a portfolio chief engineer. Dream big. If I was talking to an apprentice today, I would say to him, dream big, him or her. I've just been a few months in this union now and it's already made a major impact on my life. I see a brighter future um, with stability for my family. I also see major opportunities for growth. There will always be a need for engineers and there will always be a need for keeping people warm and keeping people cool. It's always been the case and it will continue to always be the case that 94 is the goal. And that's what engineers out there strive for is to join 94. Local 94 is a career. It's also a family environment. They help you grow. They help you learn. They help you to evolve to become a better person. Absolutely, you are getting a family when you're a union member and you would particularly when you're in Local 94. Boy, I pinch myself sometimes. I think about the early days and I think about coming up through my career, never, ever believing that I'd reach the uh, ranks that I have reached within c and I've been lucky, I've worked hard, I've had some great mentors union mentors, ultimately other mentors within the company, but it's been a tremendous run and uh, a great successful career. I've been a member since uh, 2004, so I'm going on my 18th year in Local 94. I'm a retired member of Local 94. I've done 45 years in the local. I'm a proud Local 94 member since 1980. 42 years, going on 43. I've been a member of the union when I started in 1992 for about 17 to 18 years. We are the heart and soul of these buildings to go in and see the engine room purring, giving chilled water up to the high rise of the building. Uh, it gives you that good feeling and that you're a part of this. Okay, those machines don't turn on by themselves. They need us as operators to do that. You know, my wife told me sometimes you take better care of 300 Park than your own home. I said, without 300 Park, we wouldn't have a home. And that's the analogy.